Okay, this is like video number eight. I know I sound funny, at least you don't have to look at me, but this is uh, as short as possible some things that Gutenberg editor for WordPress will be able to do. It's still a work in progress, so things may change. Uh, various improvements maybe unimprovements but anyway this is it this is the way it looks when you open it uh, of course you can close some of it open it back up let's add a title okay then I need to go find some text Mm, let's see. Okay. Sorry. Now we have some text. Now with your text, it's in a block. And I have yet to figure out what uh, converting to a reusable block, I guess, uh, I guess if you click that, it saves it as another block that you can use again in whatever format you have in here. Like colors and stuff. I'll find out later. But anyhow, uh, once you have it in a block and you have it selected, where you see the three dots, select. This is the, my bad, this is the text. This will bring up your text editing tools which you can either put on the side or leap or put up here I've got mine up top so you can edit the text I don't think we can do colors I can't I don't see any but you can do your text editing here now since it's a block you can also select block and you can use a drop cap. We have a uh, text size. I like that feature. Uh, background color. Text color. You can change the color of the text. Whoa. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Clear it. And it has block alignment. Now, from what I've gathered, is there's a way to fit two blocks, like a block in a block, if that makes any sense. And this comes into play with putting text on right or left. That's all I could figure, because that's the only way I could get it to do text. All right, so where are we at? Oh, uh, text, all right, that's our first block. Now, if you click add a block, it's got the quick links here, paragraph, image, heading. Oh, uh, let's, let's give it a little heading. Let's try that. album. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's do the hmm, let's do us a gallery and see how how easy that might be. Alright. That should be enough. And we've inserted it. And that was that was fairly simple. I, I don't know if WordPress does that now or not. I've got a gallery uh, plug-in that, that I use it for. Now you can change the columns. 
You can change the columns here. And naturally it'll make some of them smaller. Crop images is on. And uh, that's about it. Okay, that's our album. I'm going to go ahead and erase this, remove it, and we'll remove this one. Okay, what the uh, text flow? Or putting your text to the right or left of your graphic or picture. I had the worst. This is not intuitive. I couldn't even find instructions. I searched on the internet and found people talking about it. They had done several workarounds. Last night I did it by accident. And uh, today I had to relearn it all over again after attempting about... Uh, I think it said I had a hundred revisions on that page. But I finally got down a pattern, I think. Let's give it a try. First, you'll add an image. Let's just grab one from the media library. Right, there's our image. Now if we can shrink it down, resize it where we want it. So we have an image. Now let's add our text down here. There's our text. Now we want to click on this this block and move it to the right and it brought brought the text right up with it there are several ways to do it too uh, we could have started a new paragraph done the text first Then the image. Move the image to the right. Then just bump it up. And it puts it s side by side. So that way that we just did it. Uh, surprised me so apparently you can make it do it uh, a couple of ways okay uh, let's see we have there was something in here I wanted to blocks all right let's say we want Oh, you can also use this classic, uh, which puts a classic editor in that block. So every time you come back to it, uh, you have these, the ones we're used to right now in Word, WordPress. Uh, let's remove that. All right, let's go back. We want to get some blocks image video formatting table verse layout text columns some of you may like this I've never used it but I can see where it might come in handy in a block in uh, somewhere in a post or on a page text column here's one column here's the other column. Now somewhere in here ah columns column column three four <laughs> it looks a little strange I'll give you that but uh apparently you can have all the columns you need 
up to a certain amount where you have one letter in each column but columns is uh looks like a nice feature easy to use oh uh, let's say you got a uh, link you'd like to put in easily put in let's grab my weather link ah didn't mean to do that grab a link to my weather page here we're going to go with uh add a block and let's go with a button recent that's a recent ones I've used okay block you have codes verses pull quotes tables you even have tables button or button and that's the weather site paste our link uh, what do you say we yeah maybe something like that get a little attention all right now to preview it you can go up here to the eye and our link now will take us to wherever we put the URL for anything else I'm trying to think um, oh what are some of the other things we do oh, just can't bring it to mind but this this will be working on pages and uh, posts. This is actually a uh, a post. It's not a page. It's a post that I was trying a new new post to be published. Let's see. Okay. I uh, can't remember which theme I'm using. I think it's 2015 or one of the 20s. Hmm. I know I'm missing something, but uh, that's the that's the way it looks. And I think once I get used to moving where everything's at, it'll be you know just pointing and clicking I'll remember where the things are and there's like I say there's shortcuts as you're making these things because when you start whoops, when you start a uh, when you block you start it as a paragraph an image or a heading or you can go here with all this group of just looks like tons of things you can do uh, and just click it and, and uh, it just uh, it's almost like what you see is what you get widgets categories hmm I'll be darned let's try that oh huh. okay wonder where the settings are number of items categories and US to oldest look at that don't need a plug-in now of course now I'd, I'd need that in a in the sidebar that's what we would need so you can see it at a glance instead of uh, inside the inside the web page itself But yes, that's uh, that's the blocks. Mm -hmm. Short code, latest categories. Some of these I haven't heard of. Smug mug. <laughs> we 
Reverb Nation. Oh, might be interesting. There, good old YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Okay, well, that's, that's it. I've done enough and just wanted to give you a taste for what it uh, what it is, what it is. Oh, my mother'd roll over in a grave. What it's all about and how it operates. Some of it. Uh, I'm kind of still klutzy at it, but uh, it's. I think it's going to be fun to learn, and uh, we'll get used to it. I mean, it's coming. May as well just sit back and, uh, but like I said, once once you're used to where everything's at, then uh, and you can get to them several ways. I mean, if you want to start a new a new paragraph you could have been you might have had your cursor up here and you decided you wanted to start a new paragraph or you can just go down here and start it easily but thanks and I hope this helps a little bit get you acclimated and we'll see you later oh one last thing I'm wondering about revisions that's got me wondering uh, how long they're stored, where they're stored. Because that's going to make a database grow big time. I looked down here once and I had 110 revisions while I was trying to learn to put that uh, text next to a graphic. They're nice for being able to do things, but I, I just, uh, I don't know. That's a lot of revisions. On my site right now, I only keep like two per post. And then uh, when I know I'm not going to need them, I, I have a plug-in that goes through and deletes all the old revisions. But uh, it's it's handy, but I'm, I'm just wondering about, about the uh, revisions and, and where they're kept as far as uh, storage and stuff. Thank you very much. See you all later.